So you don't know what you're doing And the walls are closing in Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been like five years that I haven't recorded anything. There's a plenty of reasons why, but I'm not gonna bore you with my excuses. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start with this makeup look. I really like the way it came out. It's really bold and just like in your face, but it's very wearable and still if you really want to. This wig is like so pretty too. It's a little bit different than what I wear because this one doesn't have like black roots. So it's a little bit hard for me because I'm not a professional wig wearer. I just kind of like pop it on as best as I can. So if you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. I know I look super crazy, but I wanted to do something different and something like out of my comfort zone. I'm wearing like a neon shirt. Wing. Oh, hold on. Oh. First things first is I already did my eyebrows. They're a little bit bold because I felt like this wig needed bold lashes. <laughs> Can you tell I haven't been like on YouTube in a long time because I don't know how to talk. I think I cut this a little bit too much right here. Okay. But if you can tell, this wig doesn't have like a center um, center line, so it's a little bit different. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of oil to my face. I always add oil just because I feel like my face gets a little bit dry, especially in this area right here. And I'm actually going to put some of this hair back because it's all up in my face. This wig is so, like, smooth and, like, I don't know, it's very silky. I like it. This, this wig is from Jum Wigs, and it's so smooth and soft they gave me a discount code if you use lily it gives you five dollars off so i'll leave the links down below for all of that good stuff if you want to check it out they have a lot of different colors this has to be like my 12th wig now because i have so many of them now okay we're going to do our sorry if you can see my roots i'm so sorry i'm not a pro at wigs like i really am not i just like to put them on so i can change my hair color because i don't like to mess with my hair like i want it to grow so long that my skin has been doing so good like this is my skin with no filter no nothing um i have little scars here and there but i mean i am working on my skincare video soon so i just need some help recording it so i'm gonna get like my brother to help me or something i've been loving this foundation lately the l'oreal infallible longwear shaping stick like, i feel like it just before that, I'm going to add a little bit of professional by Benefit. For some reason, my pores here are like the hugest pores ever. Okay, now that we have that, I'm going to put L'Oreal Infallible Stick Foundation. I feel like it's really moisturizing on my skin. And you can really layer it if you want to and have it like be super full coverage if you do like two layers. But I find that with one layer, I'm good. So I just kind of put it all over my face. It is super easy to just like put on. I love like stick forms because they're like super easy to put away. Let me get a beauty blender real quick. So I've been like loving colors lately. Like who am I with all these colors all over? You know what I mean? I'm usually like a black everything person. So the fact that I'm trying to do different colors is like so cool to me. But yeah, let's talk about where I've been. I've been like MIA big time like on YouTube and there's so many reasons for that like I can't even start explaining because they sound like excuses but they're not excuses um so I'm gonna upload a vlog soon two vlogs that are coming up really soon I just need to finish the editing and that's another thing the editing part is gonna be so hard now because so funny story I like <laughs> I had to update my computer, so that meant that it up upgraded everything, or like it updated the whole system. And the Final Cut Pro that I used to have wasn't compatible, so I can't use it anymore. So it's like a sad story. And now I have to use iMovie again, which is like, it's good for editing, but it, honestly, I got used to Final Cut Pro so much, and it has so many more features that it's like, I'm making it work. So yeah, if you could just support me, like this video, comment down below, subscribe, and tell your friends to subscribe, that would be amazing. We gotta work with what we have, you know? So yeah, this is one layer of the foundation. Looks so good. It blends in so fast on your skin. I feel like it's like crema. If you're oily, you might find it a little bit too oily for you. I'm oily too, but like, for some reason, my skin has been a little bit normal, not too oily lately. I feel like it's the oil that I put on because I feel like my skin knows that it's already oily so it doesn't make more oil itself. Yeah, I could totally do another layer, but I'm just gonna keep it like that and continue. All right, so now that we have a foundation base, we're going to contour a little bit. I'm gonna be using this concealer by Morphe. It's completely like discontinued, so yeah. We're going for a more dramatic look, so I'm just going to sorta contour and then I'm gonna heavily contour with powder after I just like to know where where my contour goes you know 
But how have you guys been? I feel like uh, YouTube is like a whole other story. It's been like super weird. Like it literally makes people be unfollowed. Like it's gotten a lot more stricter with everything as far as um, music, comments. Oh, and it's so annoying. Like I lose followers every day by the chunks. I feel like it's a forever uphill battle and I'm never gonna get there but I just want to be consistent for once in my life because all this inconsistency that I've, that I've had for like the past four years has not helped at all and I've realized that I love doing videos you know what I mean like I've always loved it ever since I started and I started just because people asked me to start it wasn't because I want to do videos and, and make it my job like I never thought about it like that it was always just like oh you want to see a video yeah let me do it so yeah it's always like a little getaway like a little escape to do fun things on camera because it's like I'm talking to my friends you know what I mean my friends that are in the camera okay um so I contoured just a little bit now we're gonna continue with setting my face with a little bit of powder I'm gonna be using RCMA translucent powder I'm gonna be using the same little beauty blender I want to focus on my eyes and make those look pretty with like a lot of color I'm actually gonna be wearing these really cool um, contacts by TTDI I never know how to say that it's like TTDI 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 and these are in the color kiss Riata. Kais Riata, oh my god, these names. Kiss Riata, yellow, it's like a yellow neon color, so we're gonna put those eyes on. I just don't know how it's gonna look, I just kinda know what I wanna do, so let's do that. I'm gonna, they're more green than I thought, that they were gonna be more yellow. More like a neon y color, but you can't have everything you want, you know? I'm just trying to open it right now. I do have a discount code with them too, I'll write it right here so you guys can see. But I really like their contacts for like cosplay looks like red, like white, so I can do like some Halloween looking thing. It comes with these little sticky things. It comes with these little sticks to like hold it with, but I never got the hang of it. I guess you put it on here and then you kind of stick it in there. Can you guys even see what I'm doing? Oh hey! I guess that does work. <laughs> hey, go stick. I'm going to dump the little juice in here so I can continue with my makeup. I do have the, I'll show you the palette, which is such a good palette. It's so pigmented. It's the Anastasia one in collab with Alyssa Edwards. Let me show you. Dude, it's super good. I've been using it a lot lately. It's super pigmented, very beautiful colors. I'm feeling like using it today. Maybe like a blue? No, maybe like... This purple, this deep burgundy purple is one of my favorites. I just used it in my last uh, video on Instagram. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Oh, the pink is so good. The blue, these three right here are like super good colors. I'm like so stuck. I don't know what to do. Should I do a white? I've never done like a white eyeshadow. Let's just play around. Let's just do it. So if you're into a lot of different colored eyeshadows, if you're into like super colorful eyeshadows, if you haven't tried the Anastasia Eye Primer, whoa, it's like life-changing. It's really good. It's really, it brings out all the colors even more. And it like, it's, it's just super good and a little bit goes a long way. I'm going to show you real quick. I'm just going to dot it. Like I barely squished it because, and I'm going to use my handy dandy Makeup Shack T72. I really like this one. Too. It's really going to help us get that eyeshadow to stay on for a while by the way on my lips all i'm wearing is this little vaseline um lip therapy rosy lips i really love this one it's one of my favorite ones for just like moisturizing for lip balm so i'm looking a little washed out i think it's the camera settings with the light or something because i don't look that washed out in person in person i just look a little bit scary like a little gary doll or something like i'm about to go get you kind of thing why you gotta be so itchy though all right, no itchy, no itchy. So this color we're just gonna put on our crease here so we can add a little bit more of the dark purple. So now I'm going to get some of that ABH 
primer and I'm going to put it in my crease and just cut the crease real quick. I'm gonna put some here, look up, make sure that it goes where it's gonna go every time I, you know, move my eyelid. And it's going all the way up here, so I'm going to just bring it around town. Bring it around town. Just gonna move on for now. I'm gonna put on my favorite lashes of all time. These are I Am Braves by Betta Bay Lashes. These I've worn, I've been wearing for a while now. A good over 10 times, I know for sure. I'm just super careful when I pick out the glue. I'm just gonna pop them on with a little bit of glue. I've been loving the Makeup Shack. It's literally almost exactly the same as the Kiss glue. It dries clear. It's really good, and it just stays on if you apply it correctly. It just really does stay on for a while. Make sure to get the corners because the corners are always the ones that stick out. Alright, now it's time for highlight and then I will do my lips the end because I have no idea what I'm gonna put on them so I'm just gonna prolong it till I, as long as I can <laughs> so for setting powder I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Summer Solstice all-nighter spray limited edition it smells really good and I'm just gonna put it all over my face and we're gonna start with my highlight it's kind of gonna go over the purple so that's why I wanted to do it last so it doesn't get purple on my brush and then I'm over here spreading the purple. I'm just gonna put this lip gloss on. It's called Sunscape. Wow. <gasps> wow, I totally forgot bottom lash line mascara. Like, it's so important. Wow. Shame on me. Okay, I'm gonna put it on. This is my favorite mascara, by the way. Perversion by Urban Decay. Really good mascara. They have a waterproof mascara. Let me show you. It's just so cool. Hold on. Cool. It's so pretty because it has like this watermark. Like it's bumpy. It's really cool. Yeah, favorite mascaras. So we're completely done now. Um, I really like it. It's really pretty. Can't wait to take pictures. This is what it actually looks like. Like, I don't know if it picks up all the colors, but I have purple, white, greenish, yellow contacts. I am Brave Lashes by Betta Bay Lashes. This is a lip gloss by Anastasia. The wig is by Jum Wigs. Yeah, super pretty I think. It's the makeup is still definitely wearable. Like if you remove the wig, you still totally wear this makeup look. And yeah, I really like it. I don't know about you. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will have a giveaway in this video. So all you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe. Put on the notification button, bell. And yeah, I will select somebody soon. And... That was not it. Do you forget how to say things? Yes, you do. So if you want to see the steps I took to take So if you want to see how I got this look um keep on watching Can you see me Hello